Hey guys, Vindicator Jones here. Today, something a bit different. A few viewers have requested that I take out my 1 billion credit, fully engineered, turreted cutter into a Hazrez to see how it goes using Flight Assist Off. To be honest, the thought of having my cutter bouncing around an asteroid Hazrez site with Flight Assist Off wasn't too appealing. But I thought, what the hell? Now, let me say this up front. This is quite possibly not the best build for the cutter. It was more of a test bed for a turreted version of the cutter, so I could play with it and test various loadouts with turrets. I'll go through a quick summary of the build first and then show you some edited highlights of it in action. I will record this bit live. Okay guys, I'm going to sh give you a quick rundown of my build. Um, actually, I'll take you through the stats first. So as you can see there, I've got nearly 5,000 megajoules of shields. I have... 48% shield kinetic resistance, 45% thermal resistance, and 55 explosive resistance. Um, I haven't really played around with my armor resistances yet, but I'm going to try and get um, them up as well. I'm still having a bit of trouble trying to figure out uh, the how to stack boosters and the laws of diminishing returns in doing so. But uh, that's the best I can get at the moment. Um... That's all it really shows here, so we'll go into... Outfitting and we'll take a look from there. So as you can see, we'll go look at the ship specs. I've got a top boost speed of 436 meters per second. Thanks to engineered dirty drives, I'll go through that. So we'll go through the core internal first. So I've got military guide composites. I have modifications on that uh, heavy duty armor, but I might change that for resistance, uh, thermal resistance. Um, that's something I'm going to be looking at soon. 8A power plant with overcharged power plant. Um, I could probably back that off a bit because it is a bit of a pain in the ass when uh, fuel scooping, so I overheat something shocking. 8A, 8A thrusters with dirty drives, level 5. Gives me a nice top boost speed, which is good and bad at the same time. Plus 7A frame shift drive with increased FSD range, which means I can get up to about 19 uh, light years max when empty, uh, which is, it doesn't sound very much, but it is a pretty heavy ship. Um, 7D life support, don't really see any need to uh, put 7A on there. Uh, power distributor is charge enhanced, it should be level 5. And sensors, I'm still running stock. 7a sensors but i am going to probably but i will engineer these eventually i have two module reinforcement packages in the military slots uh that's just that if I, my, my shields go down my modules uh won't take so much damage so we'll go over to optional internal and take a look here so as you can see i've got 8a prismatic shields that have got um I think these are reinforced, yes, but I'm thinking about maybe changing this out for resistance based. Not too sure yet, but it's probably something I will try. I have 8A shield cell bank, cargo rack, which I could swap out for something else. If I wanted another shield cell bank, fuel scoop, fighter bay. Um, I've got some, right now I've just got this set up for a generic build, just running some passenger missions. I've got a, but really you could probably put some hull reinforcement modules here. Um, if you're going to set it up just for pure combat, of course, SRV bay, advanced discovery scanner. So again, pretty generic sort of things. We'll go to the utility mounts. Now, I've got mostly shield boosters, except for a heat sink launcher, which is basically so that whenever I fire an SCB, I don't cook myself. But as you can see, I've got um, varying different types of SCBs. I've got a, these are all level five engineered. Oh, sorry, some are level 4 at the moment, I should say. Uh, so that's just pure shield boost, 54%. Another shield boost of 62%. Uh, another shield boost of 50%. So what I think I've managed to work out so far is having three heavy-duty boosters, two thermal uh, in uh, resistant boosters, which you can see here. And I think I have two resistance augmented boosters, uh, which gives me plus 10% on thermal resistance and explosives. 
Um, I think that's probably the best mix so far. I'm still playing around with it. So, yeah, I might make a video on that once I've figured it out. Okay, we'll go to weapons. Uh, basically, these are all level 5 engineered weapons, but I'll go through them. Basically, they're all turrets, obviously, except for the huge multi-cannon. Now, I could swap that out for a turret, but I kind of like having it there, so... Now, these weapons are all pretty much hodgepodge, but as you can see here, I've got uh, two multi-cannons underneath the ship, which are both efficient with incendiary rounds. Now, I wanted to go for efficient because I wanted to have minimum power to weapons so I could apply that power to other parts of the ship. So you can see there, both thermal, both efficient. Now, the two medium pulse lasers, which are on top of the ship near the rear, these are both rapid fire, but one has scrambled spectrum and the other one I think has phasing sequence. Now these are just things I've pulled off from other ships. So like I said, it's a bit of a hodgepodge at the moment. Now the class three turrets are both efficient and both thermal shock, I think. Oh no, one is a missive uh, munitions. That's okay. That's for highlighting targets more easily for the turrets. And of course the multi-cannon, which is efficient, but with corrosive shell. And just so you can have an idea of how much all this costs, it's around about 944 million in its current form. Usually, I do push it over the 1 billion market depending on my build. But that's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is the insurance cost, which is around about 51 million, I think. So, so yeah, bouncing this thing around an asteroid field with flight assist stuff is not exactly something I'm looking forward to. But let's go out there and give it a go. Okay, here I am. I've got an anaconda nice and close to me. I'm going to set my fighter to attack. I hear you loud and clear. Moving to attack position. Uh, not a good position. That's okay. Flip around. Ooh, really bad initial. I should have waited. I, I was impatient. Here we go. Flight assist off. I'm not really near the asteroid, so I'm not too worried at the moment. <laughs> Boosting. Oh, I'm going to way overshoot. That's okay. Flight assist off around boost up with thrusters so I don't go off into the asteroids he'll be he's gonna pop soon just fly around him until he dies come on pop for me I'm heading into the asteroids boost up boost up boost up Oh dear. Hostile is down. Oh, that's okay. I'm alright. Come up to another anaconda. This is nice. Anacondas are nice money for me. Ah, oh, just what the hell. Just attack it. Drop it, chaff. I don't care. You can see I've got really got really good efficiency on my weapons. Just keep firing them all day long. Flight assist off, turn there, music thrusters. I'm heading towards the asteroid field, this is not good. That's okay. Really not flying properly here, but that's all right. Just having a bit of fun. It's just fun just buzzing around him. Just constantly boosting, absolutely no power to shields, which is silly, but I don't care. I've got so much shields. Oops. Have a shot. Turn around. See, look at my shields. Just nothing's happening. Plus the simple fact that I'm also just spinning around. Oh, close the asteroid, close the asteroid. Oh dear, this isn't good. Oh dear. I just don't know what's... Oh, there it's okay, I'm out of it now. <laughs> he's done exactly what I was about to do. I think he just crouched into an asteroid. Try to get a bit closer to him, try not to hit anything. Flight assist off in an asteroid field is not exactly safe in a cutter. Especially when you're boosting, I'm just... This is silly. <laughs> just trying to keep 
control so I don't hit anything at the moment. Okay, finally. All right. Okay, this time we have a federal dropship. These can be tough little buggers. I, they, they've really ramped them up a bit. Especially they can hull tank for days. Oh, of course, straight into the asteroid field. Oh, I have to chase after him. Oh, what are our boots? Oh no, ramming speed. Mm, shields. <laughs> At least I put pips into shields for that. Oh dear, what am I going to hit anything? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yay! I didn't hit anything. Who? Oh, I'm gonna have to go back in. Okay, that's alright. I got skills. <sighs> Actually, I'm just fluking this. I'm whoa! <laughs> I need to take evasive action while I shoot. Well, I'm, I'm trying to be wary of what's where. I'm trying to aim for big holes. In the asteroid field. Damage, Trying to get myself out of here. Uh, so you'd be, you would have died a long time ago if I was in my Corvette. But I am being silly though. Let's, let's be honest. But it is fun. It's just fun zooming between all these asteroids. Oh. Uh, I should be okay. I think I calculated okay. See, I'm using a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm talk I talk a lot of rubbish. Next! Okay, another anaconda. I'm getting a lot of anacondas. That's good. This doesn't work too well against smaller ships. The turrets are hopeless. The big targets, yeah, that it does pretty well. I'm right bang smacking an asteroid field. This is not going to be good. This is going to be painful both for both me and him. One scammy turn. Yes, I know. Big rock. Dodge the big rock. I should have waited a bit longer. I'm so impatient today. Die. Oh, he's face sinking me. Oh, it took a bit of damage on my shields. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, nah, I should be right there. I uh, should be okay. Oh, that's all right. Lots of thrusters. Oh, lots of thrusters. Lots of thrusters. Turn around. I think he hit the asteroid too. Okay, try to get under this one. Thrusters, thrusters down. And back into play. There we go. I meant to do that, totally. Up thrust to get myself out of this asteroid field. Ah, oh, he's about to die. Good. Die. Die. Oof. Enemy is down. Nice. Okay, well, I don't want to drag this video out too long, so I'll head back to Space Dock and we shall wrap it up over there. So there you go. Let's be honest, it's not the most efficient or fastest way to kill targets and I was not taking my flying very seriously. Not to mention I was being very silly and keeping full pips to weapons and engines and none to shields. But in order to use flight assist off effectively, I really need to be spamming the boost button. Practical? No. Fun? Oh my yes indeedy. I had a freaking ball and even though I had some epic moments where I was basically a ball in a pinball machine, see after the video, it left me with a smile on my face. The shield's resistances and my Mega Jewel rating meant that I was not really concerned with how much damage my shields took, and the Class 8 SCB topped me up nicely when I needed. Do I recommend this build for bounty hunting? Well, it all depends. If you just want to get maximum kills per hour, then the Corvette is your go-to beast. But if you're wanting to have a bit of silly fun and practice your flight assist off skills, then this build could be an option, albeit an expensive option, not just in build, but also in insurance cover. But it got me thinking. How would a T9 fare in a similar situation? Big massive hulking sliding trade ship, flight assist offing in a has res site looking for bounties? Hmm. I'll tell you what, if I can get 250 likes for this video, then I'll make that video. 
or most likely fail, but you never know, it could be hilarious. A lot of people have been asking for builds on my Federal Corvette and Ferdilance, and I just wanted to explain why I haven't done them yet. A lot has changed since I initially built these ships, and I'm still really messing around with the builds. However, I will release a Federal Corvette video soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, support, and add me on social media. This is Vindicator Jones signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you out there in the big black. I've got to get around on this guy and oh oh dear oh no, this is not good it's not good Ooh. ouch Ooh. oh dear well I'm definitely editing this bit out nah I'm in control now it's all good I lost a bit of shields there though but I have SCBs I can take it you shall pay the price for your insolence I am really making a dog's... Oh, God, not again, seriously. Oh, jeez. Oh, there goes my shields. Oh, that's it. No, we're not in the clear. Not with 50 million credit rebuy. I'm out of here.